Chris here from SwapPart.com and I'm going to do a quick instructional video showing uh, how to put this TV into test mode. Uh, it's a Sanyo DP50749, although at this point it's nothing more than a panel. I got rid of the rest of the TV a long time ago. Um, now, why would you want to put your TV into test mode? Well, if your TV is not turning on, and a symptom of that is it's like with this one, what it was doing before is it would click on and it would click off like every 20 seconds. And of course, my first thought was the Y sustain was bad. And the, uh, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. So ultimately, uh, I pulled the service manual service manual told me how to jump the logic board into test mode with the main board removed and when I did that TV turned on test pattern showed on the screen and that told me that the main board was a problem now if doing that wouldn't have turned the TV on then I pretty much would have ruled the main board out as being a problem and then I would know I have some other problem um, what that would be that's the subject for a different video so I'm going to pull the camera closer because you need to see what I'm doing and not me and uh... <coughs> okay so adjust this here a little bit this is your logic board and basically it's real simple. With the main board completely removed from the TV, okay, you're going to see these little connectors right here. They're not a con it's like jumpers. Zoom in so you can see them. And, uh, okay, what you're going to do is you're just going to put a little screw in there. Just something so they're all shorted together. Okay, I'm back. I added some external lighting uh, so we can see a little better. And see how I've got that little screw just in between all those connectors and uh, our jumpers. And all it's doing is just shorten them all together. That's it. Simple as that. Now, this connector here Okay, I've took this jumper wire, and all we're doing is we're shorten PS on, which is pin 2 on here, okay, and we're shorten that to ground, which I could use pin 3 or pin 4. I'm using pin 4 just because it's a little farther away, and you can see it a little better. And that's all there is to it. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could ground it to the panel, but I would rather not. It's better to ground it through the actual connector. And uh, you could do this just with a piece of wire. This is, you know, uh, something from my breadboard kit, but you could really use just about any wire you got laying around. It'll work. Um, so now, zoom out here. Okay, we're going to turn it on. As you can see, it just turned on. In fact, I'll let you see the test patterns. Um, of course, it's really a no-no to film a screen, but uh, that's what all the distortion is, just from the camera. But as you can see, this is... Uh, this is what the test pattern is. This is what you see when you do this. And if you get this, then you know your power supply and your sustain boards and your logic board are all good. And your main board's bad. And if you don't get this, then something else is wrong. So. I hope this uh, helps you to troubleshoot your TV. And good luck.